Good evening, and welcome to another episode of Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Southern. In this lesson, we're looking at integration to find the area contained between a curve and a line. And what I'm going to do in this lesson is take you through three examples of different scenarios uh, that come up quite regularly um, that you have to be able to tackle. Um, here is the first such example. Uh, what we have here is we have a curve with equation y equals x squared minus 6x plus 13. And we have a line with equation y equals 8. And then the region contained between the curve and the line, uh, I've shaded in red and labelled R. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to find the exact area of that region R. Uh, now, the first thing that you need to do with questions like this, often this is done for you, uh, is to label any points of intersection between the curve and the line. Uh, so there are two here. I'm going to label them A and B. Whenever you have points of intersection between a line and a curve and you're trying to find an area, my recommendation is that you draw a vertical line straight down to the x-axis from those points. And what that will do is it will give you an indication of what we have to do to solve the problem. Um, and what I can see that we've got to do here um, is that we've got to find the area of this rectangle I've created by drawing these two blue lines. And we've got to subtract the area beneath the curve. And what I'll do to maybe make that just a little bit more obvious is I will shade in green. the area underneath the curve, between the curve and the x-axis. Uh, so what you should see um, that we're going to be doing, we're going to be finding the area of this rectangle here. So I'm just going to draw up like that, just a little rectangle. And then we're going to subtract the integral, which will find us the area between the curve and the x-axis. So that is the strategy um, that I'm going to be using to solve this problem. Uh, it's always a good idea to write that down early on because then as you go through your journey of finding the error of these two things, you know what the purpose of doing that is. OK, so first of all, I need to find the points A and B. Now, A and B are the points of intersection between this curve and this line. Uh, and when I have points of intersection, um, I want to be solving simultaneously. Uh, so uh, if I start off by saying, OK, x squared minus 6x plus 13 equals 8, solving simultaneously the curve with the line. If I subtract the 8 from both sides of the equation, x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0, uh, I get a quadratic, uh, and the solutions to that quadratic are x equals 1 and x equals 5. Now, normally, you'd have to substitute these x values back into one of the two equations to find the value of y. But because y equals 8, I know actually the y coordinate for both of these uh, is going to be 8. Uh, so the point A is 1, 8, and the point B is 5, 8. Uh, and I can label that onto my original diagram as well, uh, if that helps you. So that's 1, 8, uh, and that there is 5, 8. Uh, and what that enables me to do uh, is to find the area um, of this rectangle. Uh, so the rectangle, uh, if it goes from the point uh, 1, 0 uh, to 5, 0 along the bottom, then it must have a base of 4. The height we know is 8 because that's how far it goes up on the y-axis. So the area of this bit must be 32. So I know straight away the area of my rectangle uh, is 32. What I'm then going to do is I'm going to integrate this equation here between the limits x equals 1 and x equals 5. And that is going to find me the area that I've shaded in green. Uh, so let's do that then. So integrating between 5 and 1, the equation x squared minus 6x plus 13. Uh, with respect to x. Now notice I'm using plus 13, I'm not using plus 5, because the equation that I'm integrating is the equation of this curve here. 
because that's the curve that I want to find the area uh, between that curve and the x-axis. So go back to the original when you become when you come to do your integration. Right then, so x squared integrates to one third x cubed. Negative 6x is going to integrate to minus 3x squared. And then 13 is going to integrate to 13x. And that is between the limits of 5 and 1. Okay, so I substitute 5 into the integral, uh, which gives me uh, 125 over 3 uh, minus 3 lots of 5 squared. So minus 75 uh, plus 65. That's subbing in 5. And I'm going to be subtracting the value I get when I sub in 1. So 1 third minus 3 plus 13. Okay, uh, that is 95 over 3. Uh, subtract uh, 31 over 3, uh, which gives me 64 over 3 which is the area shaded green, that is the area between the curve and the x-axis. So why was I finding that out? Well, I was finding it out because I was going to do the rectangle, take away the integral to find the overall area. Uh, so what I'm now going to do is 32 take away 64 over 3, which is going to give me 32 over 3 as my area for R. So I established the strategy I needed to use. I had to do a rectangle minus an integral. I found the points I needed by solving a simultaneous equation. I found the area of the rectangle. I then found the green area by integrating between the x limits that I'd found where the curve and line intersected. And final answer for R, 32 over 3. Job done.